Yeah, Eric Spillman is there live with more. And Eric, I think you're the perfect person to cover this. Uh, you and a few other people here are such <laughs> diehard fans, and you literally grew up, like so many of our viewers, as a Dodger fan and a fan of Vince Scully. Good morning. I sure did. And here inside Dodger Stadium, they have Vince's microphone, which is up here next to the retired player's number. They put that up there. Uh, the year after he retired. He retired in 2016. And I did, like so many people, uh, listen to so much Vince Cully as a child. I remember listening to games on the radio, going to sleep with Vince Cully's voice. Uh, so many people have that experience. Uh, last night, when the news of his passing uh, came out, uh, if you were listening to the Dodger game on the radio, here's how Dodgers announcer Rick Monday told everyone that Vin had died. We lost a legend. We lost someone that brought us the joys of baseball. And with very sad news, the passing of Vince Scully today. And for those of us that were touched by him, listened to him, and learned from him. This is a uh, a deep loss. It is indeed, and uh, it's emotional for a lot of people, as it was for Rick Monday. Let's talk now to Dodger historian Mark Langell, who joins us. Good morning. Good morning, Eric. This is he was the soundtrack of our lives, and and uh, it's it's tough to know that he's gone. Well, he was, but I think he would remind everybody this morning behind us, the sun is about to rise above Dodger Stadium, and life is going to go on. And life may never be the same because Vinny is not here in body, but with spirit, he'll always be here because you were just talking about your childhood memories, and we can match all the decades that we listened to him on the radio and watched him on the television and all the joy that he brought us. And somebody that you love that much, he will always be with us. We talk a lot about his ability to tell stories, and he was a wonderful storyteller. He would tell anecdotes during the game that would last maybe for several innings and still call the balls and strikes. But also another great thing about Vinny was sometimes he didn't say anything. He didn't speak at all. For example, after Kirk uh, Gibson's 1988 home run, he didn't speak for 67 seconds after that. He just let the crowd noise tell the story. Absolutely, and that's the lesson that he learned as a kid. Just imagine being underneath the large radio at home, and he said the play-by-play -play and the roar of the crowd would wash over him like water. So later, he's the broadcaster. He would do the play-by-play, -play, but he never forgot the rush of the water, and he never tried to compete with the crowd, and everybody got to enjoy both, the wonderful play-by-play -play and then the roar of the crowd. What was the line he used when Gibson hit the home run? Well, in the year of the improbable, the impossible has happened. Who comes up with that on the fly? Like, who could do that? Uh, when, his, when he did the perfect game in 1965, if you transcribe the ninth inning, it's in perfect English, grammar, and everything. He was just a genius. And it wasn't just what he said. It was the tone of his voice, the calming, soothing tone. Absolutely, because he knew he was an entertainer, and it was important to entertain your audience, not just root for a baseball team. And he was that way on the telephone, too, or in person. He just had a cadence about him, a magical sense as far as that wink and that twinkle in his eye. And just imagine going around Southern California and everywhere he went, he knew if he met somebody, it was going to be the experience of a lifetime. So he was always up to the challenge. Mark, thank you for talking to us. We'll be talking to you all morning long as we continue uh, to remember Vince Scott. And a very pleasant good evening to you, wherever you may be. Pull up a chair. One. That's how every Dodgers broadcast started for more than six decades with the familiar voice of legendary announcer Vince Scully. Late last night, Scully's family announced he had passed away. He was the voice of the Dodgers for 67 years, longer than any broadcaster has ever spent with a single team. His family says he died at his home. Vince Gully was 94. And, um, we continue, of course, with this this morning, our top story. The passing of a true legend, longtime Dodgers announcer Vince Scully, passed away last night at the age of 94. Mario Ramirez continues our team coverage. He's live at Dodger Stadium with reaction from heartbroken fans who, by the way, have been showing up since the wee hours of the night in honor of Vince Scully. Mario, good morning. 
That's right, and we're continuing to see those tributes pour in. We heard from one fan who said she was born listening to Vince Scully's play-by-plays, and her children got to experience that as well. So lots of messages of gratitude and what he did for the game here at the growing memorial outside Dodger Stadium. We see candles, memorabilia, and messages of love for the baseball legend and what his voice and presence did for baseball. Now, take a look. As soon as fans heard about his passing, some gathered here outside Dodger Stadium to pay their respects. Scully was a house Household name here in Southern California, the voice of the Dodgers for more than six decades, uniting generations of fans from all over. They remember Scully's amazing storytelling during his 67 year run as the voice of LA baseball and fans, they didn't want to miss the opportunity to pay their respects. Just like a legend like Kobe, you know, same thing with him. It was a devastating news to anybody. Um, if you guys should come out, you know, if you guys are Dodger fans, support. You know, him for doing such great times with us. It was the the first thing that occurred to me was I wanted to go up to the stadium and I knew there'd probably be some other people there and I wanted to spend it with, you know, fellow Angelinos. He started broadcasting for the Dodgers in 1950 as an eager 22-year-old and a look at Vince Scully's star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame put in place in 82, the same year he was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. And we've been calling them friends, but something I thought was interesting, Vince Scully referred to uh, fans in a 2016 interview as friends. So many feel like they have lost a friend here after hearing about the tragic news last night. Reporting live at Dodger Stadium, back to you.